This jockey. This jockey. This jockey. Radio host. And we didn't even know this because as some of these areas have expanded, we knew people. We knew, like, especially in the 90s, I remember being as a kid. We knew Tom Jones. Like, Tom Jones, that dude. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, it was even cool to find out what these people looked like as we entered into the internet era. Because I never knew what Tom Jones looked like until one day I said, oh, that, that's what he looked like. I remember in my city, we had a dude named Pop Soul. You get what I'm saying? When I would see Pop Soul in the store, I was just happy to see him because it's like he's real. Because yeah. <laughs> you hear him all the time. But he was the superstar. Okay, so now in the TV era, who was? The commercials. Who, what position did they play? It wasn't. It wasn't really news anchors fit into there, but they got branded as something that fit into a lot of other spaces. So y'all own it, but y'all ain't on the way there. Reporters. Yeah, reporters. Yeah. Who else? The people who did the uh, commercial, commercial like the. The first commercial, like the advertisers, whoever was doing the, <coughs> who was presenting the product. And who yeah. else? This is why this era became the most complicated. The, stations, the, the celebrities, because everybody now, before what you, before people knew what you did, they knew you as a celebrity. Once again, this made influences that much bigger, because we asked after the word, who are they? You get what I'm saying? We would see him like, oh, you're about to take a picture of him? Who is he? And we would learn their name, then we would stop and have to say, wait, what they do? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, you know, that's Anderson Cooper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he worked for CNN. Oh. And then you trusted him because you saw him all the time on TV. Like, yeah, <coughs> and you got to think about it. In, in this era, which gets close to the phone era, we started knowing people were famous. We didn't really know what they did. There's a couple people that we knew like, I don't really know what they did. Or, or even now, we don't always know where they came from. So it's funny. Have y'all ever had a conversation with somebody about Justin Timberlake was in NC and figure out how many people don't know what they did? Like, yeah. they were like, he wasn't in no group. Yeah. I'd be like, where was you at in 1998? Because right. <laughs> I'd be like, and it'd it, it be, it be normal when it's somebody young, but when it's older people, I'd be like, we must just start listening to this music like three years ago or something. Because that'd be the only way I can explain that they don't know. And then, especially if you bring up like Backstreet and stuff like that, they really get to being like, okay, I ain't went down the rabbit hole here. Like, well, you clearly was Labusa. You was outside, you didn't need <laughs> <laughs>